The top eight things that women hate. Number eight, camping. I don't know if you ever dragged a chick along camping with you, but it's like pulling teeth. They absolutely hate it. They can't bathe, there's no electricity, and they have to sleep on the ground in a sleeping bag. And they don't get reception and there's no internet to boot. It's like literal modern day torture to a chick. It's a whole new level of miserable that emerges when you take a chick camping with you. Number seven, football. Oh my lord, chicks absolutely hate football. They don't understand it, they never played it back at school, they don't know the rules, and most of them barely know what a touchdown is. Most don't know the difference between a kickoff and a field goal. Most chicks pretend to like the sport if they're trying to land some dude in marriage, but trust me, deep down, they have no idea what's going on, and they hate the sport. Number six, cheap diners. Okay, so like when a chick goes out to eat, they honestly don't give a rip if the food is good or not. All they really care about is how their image is going to be projected to other people. This is why chicks love to pay way more for way less food. Because, you know, expensive restaurant food is Instagram photo snap worthy, right? But Denny's and IHOP, on the other hand, food that's actually practical and ideal and is cheap. I mean, screw that. They don't want to go there because it's not Instagram photo snap worthy, right? Number five, messy houses. Most chicks are absolute clean freaks. Well, the hot ones who think their sheet don't stink are, you know? If you ever invite a chick over and your house is messy, she'll be out the door in a freaking heartbeat. Because let me tell you, they judge. And they judge you freaking hard. It doesn't even have to be like a hoarder house or anything like that. Like if you have like dirty laundry, just a little bit, like even like three articles of clothing. I mean, that's enough right there to freak them out. Number four. Low budget motel rooms, I swear, it's like squeezing blood from a stone to get a chick to stay at a cheap motel. You gotta remember, they love bougie five star elegant hotels. Why? So they can take 5,000 selfies and post them to Instagram that night. But a chick staying at Motel 6 or something like that? Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. Anytime you try to get them to stay in a budget room, they play the whole, this looks like a serial killer room card, or this room looks like the Bates Motel, or whatever BS they try to guilt trip you with. Number three, extreme weather. So like, I don't know if you experience this or not, but chicks have to have their atmospheric conditions like literally perfect. If it's two degrees too cold, they flip. If it's two degrees too hot, they flip. They hate the rain because it screws up their makeup. They hate the wind because it messes up their $400 hairdo. It's like, no wonder all the hot SDS chicks live in Southern California, where the weather is perfect, right? Number two, isolated places. So women love crowded spots. They want to be where everyone is at to show off that their sheet don't stink. An isolated place though? Oh God, that totally freaks them out. Every time they walk into an isolated place, they're always like, uh oh, this is how an episode of Law & Order always starts out. Or, this is how the beginning of a murder mystery TV show goes, right? An isolated place. And number one, the shocker right here, porta-potties. Jesus, this might be the biggest weakness to the female species. Porta-potties, I swear, women will not go anywhere near these things. Women would rather hold it for five hours than have to lower themselves to using a porta-potty. I mean, most of the time, they're dirty, they stink, they're unpleasant, and lots of people use them up already before you. And the same could be said about porta potties too. There you go.